Creating content, whether it's YouTube videos or even Instagram reels can be a drag simply because of the setup, getting the tripod, the camera on the tripod, the light, booming your mic and all those things. And a lot of times it actually can discourage you from creating content. What if I told you there was a setup that would actually make creating content easy? That's why in this video, I'm gonna be showing you this all-in-one YouTube content studio on wheels that allows you to shoot YouTube videos, but also will allow you to shoot Instagram reels like so. I'll be breaking it up and building it out, telling you how much it costs and how you can use it in your space. Let's go. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Corey with Think Media. Now, we'll be sure to post links down to everything in the description below, so be sure to check that out. It'll be very detailed and easy to follow as I'll be walking through this whole entire build out. But let's start with the very first piece and I would say the most integral piece of this whole thing. It's not the camera, it's not the light, it's not the microphone, it's actually the stand. This is a $160 heavy duty light stand from Newer. It does come with the wheels and literally like setting this up, especially setting it up once is a breeze. Just gonna lock it in place like so. And it's got these like locks and then we're going to tighten it like so. And what's cool about this is literally how smooth it rolls around. And I also love that it doesn't take up that much space. If you wanna compare it to kind of like a traditional light stand, it takes up way less space. This is gonna allow you to literally switch up your shot. So important to get this. The next thing we wanna add is the Amaran 60D. Now what's cool about this light is that number one, it's a cob light, meaning it puts out a very powerful light. And you could see this is a fairly small type of light but you'd be surprised the type of light it actually puts out. Like I'm using a cob light right now to film this and it's literally filling up this entire room. So we're gonna just place this on the light stand. What is nice is it does allow you to kind of angle the light as you need to. Another cool thing about this light is if you do wanna plug it into power, you totally can by using the DC input. But what's also included in this light is the ability to use separate batteries and just to battery power the light itself. And so, you know, if you don't want to, you know, have cables lying around, uh, this is a great way to do it. These are the Sony NP batteries. And what's cool about them is that they hold a long charge. And the one that I found on Amazon, they actually come with four. So you can always keep two on the charger, but it's just nice, right? So we could just literally turn on the light uh, using battery and it just makes it nice and uh, easier to use. But the next thing we wanna add to this light is the modifier. This light has a Bowens mount and you can get different kinds of soft boxes for them. But the one I recommend the most is the Lantern softbox. This is about a $95 Lantern and the way it works, if I can do this first try, it's gonna be amazing. You literally just push down the center and then you hook the, uh, the light in place and then you have this nice little ball of a light. And I like this because it's super um, flattering and it's also very forgiving, meaning it doesn't have to be like perfectly placed because of the way it puts out light. And so you just throw it on the light and then you turn it until it clicks and then it's good to go. Turn it on and then this is the light setup, right? So we have our essentially our light stand, but it's also our tripod with this. And then we have our light setup up top and now we're gonna be adding on what's gonna hold the camera, which is a super clamp. So the super clamp is going to come in looking like this, but the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you take it out of the bag is you're gonna remove this plastic piece because this works for like smaller uh, kind of poles. Now we're going to clamp this onto the light stand and I like doing it here because it doesn't affect this going up and down as you uh, mess with it. And then you just literally turn it until it gets really tight. You just wanna make sure that it's good because your camera's gonna be on it. But the next thing you're gonna to wanna to actually get is this rod that's gonna make the camera come out a little bit. So this is a six inch extension that comes in at about $27 for a two pack. I don't think you could really buy one, it's weird. But this piece is gonna go into the super clamp over here. And so you just wanna loosen this side up. And then once you put it in, uh, there's actually a button underneath too that will keep it in place. So this is like super, sturdy stuff like you can you're gonna rest assured that nothing bad's gonna happen to your camera so this little brass piece is what's gonna screw into the next piece but i would encourage you to keep the more thicker side up as it's gonna be more secure when we mount the next thing which is actually a ball head tripod from knf concept so this ball head mount comes in at about 28 dollars at the time of shooting this video and i like the little red detail because you know what i'm saying we got the red and the red it's YouTube vibes, I'm about it, y'all. 
If this comes with the little adapter piece in, you can actually unscrew it. This is obviously, you could have just put it on the little guy, but I think this is just keeps it more sturdy. So we're gonna keep it on this side. And then literally you just screw this right on top of this moment right over here. And now we got our tripod set up. So we got literally a ball head tripod ready to hold a smartphone or a camera. Um, but there's some other thing that actually is gonna make this a super magical content studio. So this piece is a quick release system and it's called the F38 from Ulanzi. And what it actually does, and I believe everybody who uses a camera or anything should actually use one of these because it makes your life a lot easier. So you actually just uh, screw it onto the tripod plate. So this plate is what already came with the tripod uh, or the ball head mount over here. So if I just screw this on like so, obviously you wanna get this nice and tight. Then you're gonna put this on the actual tripod uh, ball head mount. And what's cool is it comes with this other piece which really just makes it easy to, to pop in and out your camera or your smartphone without having to unscrew or unscrew the, the ball head mount. So it's super nice. So let's screw this onto a smartphone tripod mount. This is also a Ulanzi piece of tech and it's just their smartphone little clamp. And I forgot to talk about the quick release. This, this costs about $27. I always encourage to buy an extra one of these plates though. And I'm gonna show you why in just a second. But literally just uh, screwing this piece onto this mount right here and then literally sliding it on uh, and we're almost there. We're almost done with this full on build out, but I can just throw my phone on like so. And right now we have almost like a content studio going guys. We could, we could shoot horizontal, we could shoot vertical, but let's talk about audio before I get into cameras. The audio piece of gear that I would recommend is the Rode Wireless Me. And this is a $150 wireless mic kit that I've been loving. I'm actually using it right now to record this video. That's like the mic that I got hooked up. But uh, what's cool about this mic is it comes with everything you need to be able to use it with a smartphone or a camera or even your computer. So uh, like you just literally plug in the adapter and then it goes right into, like they literally include a lightning cable and then this smartphone clamp can hold the mic like so. And speaking of audio, if you wanna level up your content with the use of royalty-free music, then look no further than Epidemic Sound. They're one of our favorite resources when it comes to finding dope music and dope sound effects for our video. Their database is so easy to search for like songs and like sounds. And really music creates the vibe in which you want your viewer or listener to feel. And maybe you're doing a sponsored ad read or something, being able to use tracks right off Epidemic Sound and that won't get you demonetized on YouTube or anywhere else. But the creativity becomes unlimited when you have a resource like Epidemic Sound. And if you wanna check them out, we have a special deal going on. Just check out the link down in the description below. Thank you Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. Now, if you actually bought everything up to this point, minus the camera recommendations I'm about to share, you're gonna be at around $550, which I think is pretty sweet. And you're gonna be able to use this for years and years on end. But I wanna talk about just a couple camera recommendations if you're in the market. The first one I wanna bring up to your attention is the Sony ZV-1 Mark II. This camera is awesome. It's what you would call a point and shoot camera. And at the time of shooting this video, it comes in at right around $800, but it shoots an incredible 4K image. It'll give you a nice blurry background. And it also has a very wide shot. So if you kind of want that wide YouTuber look, it's gonna give you that. And it's just a great camera to even vlog with. Here's what's really cool. You can actually buy an extra piece of hardware that screws underneath or even like a cage per se. And then remember those quick releases that I just talked about moments ago? I actually, if you get that extra one and you get that uh, adapter for a camera like this, you could shoot you know, YouTube videos this way. But if you wanna shoot reels or you know, vertical video, you can easily do that as well. Now, still keeping it more or less on the budget side, if you wanted to invest in a more pro type of camera, I would check out the Sony ZV-E10. This camera for the body only comes in at $700, which is a great deal uh, considering that you know a point and shoot camera like this one would be 800, but it does give you a better image and it's gonna be just a little bit more pro. But you're gonna wanna invest into a lens and the lens I would pair with this setup would be the Sigma 16 millimeter lens. And this lens comes in at about $350. There's the cage setup with the quick release system. So even in the same way, you can literally just smack YouTube videos like so, and then you can rotate it to shoot crispy reels and things like that. And really, this is how simple this setup is to use. Like, 
I'm literally gonna go away from the camera right now because I'm gonna go create content, guys. And if you got value in this video, why don't you click and tap that like button and I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.